All right, we're joined now by Fort Hayes State at the podium, head coach Chris Brown, junior quarterback Jacob Mazera, and junior defensive back Do Doyen Jabo. We'll start with an opening statement from Coach. Um, thank you for being here. I'm um, excited to be here in, in Kansas City at this awesome event. Um, just excited about this season coming up. You know, our players have done a great job this summer of uh, preparing themselves for this upcoming season with seven on sevens, uh, the weightlifting, and, and Coach Boucher has done a great job of getting these guys prepared, you know, for this upcoming season. Um, you know, coming off a bowl win last year, our, our kids are pretty excited about that. But they're, you know, they're, they're still hungry to move on and try to get to the playoffs. Um, I think we've got a group of guys that continue to keep working and doing the things that they're doing. You know, they can reach that goal, and uh, you know, I'm proud of them. And, and I can't say enough about our kids and the, the type of character kids that we have and the work ethic, work ethic that they do have. You know, is, is tremendous, and uh, I think that's going to carry us a long way in this conference. But you never know. We got to play each week and, and be ready to go. But uh, you know, there's no easy ones, so you know, we got to come each week uh, ready to battle. We'll start with questions for players. We'll start with you, Jacob. Talk a little bit about getting to the bowl game, you know, what you learned from it, and kind of the inspiration it leads into to this season. Uh, it was a great experience. Uh, I think it was a lot of fun for me and all of my teammates and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, again, we've said it before and before, this isn't what we want. You know, we want to get to the playoffs. But um, by doing that, we need to win the big games and, um, you know, take it a week at a time. Doyen, for you, you know, obviously replacing the defensive player of the year, but but still a strong defense when you look at the linebacking core and then the defensive backfield with you. Yeah, definitely. Our coaches put us in a tremendous position to make plays, so it just comes down to executing. If we execute our plays, you know, we're going to make plays and we're going to, you know, we're going to we're going to have a successful defense again. I'm confident in the players that we have that are that are coming back. So I think it's going to be a good year for us again. Jacob, could you um, just comment on your your confidence level in in, in the offense now that you've been through the system several years now? Yeah, of course. Uh, I feel great. Just me um, being back there for a whole other season, it's, it's great. And, you know, getting that under your belt, it's, it's never going to hurt you. And uh, we've got a lot of guys, you know, I feel confident in them and their uh, abilities to, you know, stretch the field and everything like that. But uh, other than that, uh, replacing Shaq, we should be okay. we got Aheem back. we got Tigner there. Carlson's coming. Um, everything should be fine. You know, I'm excited to see what we can do. we got a uh, – Great group of uh, receivers back, and uh, so should be fine. And Doy, and you've kind of in that transition from a, a young guy to now one of the the leaders. Just talk about how your role has changed and that that leadership role with the team. Well, I'm just going to try to guide others, um, answer questions when they when they ask it. I'm not going to try to do too much. I mean, I'm surrounded by talent. There's talent all around me, all around me. So I'm not going to try to do more than I'm asked. You know, I'm going to try to do what the coaches tell me and help my players out when they need my help and just be there for them. You've kind of played a couple of positions since you've been at Fort Hayes, but kind of settled into that, that banded back, kind of like, Jacob, what's your confidence level in, in, in the position you're playing right now? I'm very confident. Uh, I've learned a position, you know. I've been a little uh, uncomfortable at times, but I feel like with experience, you know, I've only gotten better. So, you know, just like Jake said, only, time can only um, help. So I feel like I'm definitely uh, more confident as time goes on. Kind of for both of you as well, you mentioned the playoffs, back-to-back -back eight win seasons. What's it going to take for you guys to take that next step now and get to the playoffs? Well, I mean, it just comes with confidence. You know, we're, we're more confident as time goes on, and I feel like we know our potential. We're not going to settle for anything less. You know, we, we have high expectations, and our fans have high expectations, and we're just going to try to meet those expectations. I say we need to learn how to finish games strong and start games off strong, you know, figure out when we're playing good, how to maintain playing that throughout the whole game and um, not give away, you know, easy points, you know, or, you know, don't give them the ball or anything like that. So that's on me too. So other than that, it should be fine. And with the success the last couple of years, have you noticed a difference among the team just in the off season and, and, and preparation going into the year? Yeah, the, the character of everyone's changing. Um, I feel like, um, during the summer, especially, we had a lot more people here, and uh, well, <laughs> uh, yeah. So other than that, um, yeah, everyone's getting used to each other. We're all like best friends and stuff like that, so it's great. Yeah, there's definitely um, chemistry is going through the roof. Um, that that comes with the summer. I feel like you know, in previous times, you know, we've been here, we haven't really taken it seriously. I feel like this summer, guys are coming to work, no one's playing around, but you know, we're still having fun because that that plays a huge role in it. If you're not having fun, you're not gonna execute well. And that chemistry is really, it's going through the roof. Um, I'm seeing chemistry that I haven't seen in a long time. So I'm really excited about that. And just hearing from Coach Boucher, I mean, seeing these guys in the weight room and things they're doing, we, our numbers are up tremendously from where they've been at. My first year, you know, 
seven years ago we had 12 guys in the summer and this summer you know we've had between 75 to 80 kids you know at one time in the weight room and and doing the seven on sevens in the summer as well and that's all you know the seven on sevens and individual works all you know player led and uh, you know with the leadership that we have right now in this team you know our, our kids are doing the things they need to do to make themselves better and make this team better you know i'm really proud of these two guys here of, of being those leaders to truly get these guys going i mean we have some others as well but these two are a big part of, of why the summer's been so successful All right, for the players, uh, starting with you, Jacob, you talked a little bit about the running backs. Obviously, Shaq, uh, a great player last season, but you've got some guys that have game experience back. Talk about, you know, just having them behind you and knowing there's a guy you can give the ball to and get a couple yards. Yeah, uh, Ahim is coming back for sure, and uh, I have a great relationship with him, and I'm super excited to be back there with him. Uh, he took pretty much half the snaps from Shaq anyway, so, you know, they had a great, you know, one-two punch, and, uh, you know, he's going to be – a great weapon for us. We got Carlson coming back, and uh, Tigner. He played a receiver for us last year, and he's a running back playing receiver. So you know, once he gets uh, used to everything back there, he should be fine. All right, uh, Dwayne. Kind of the same question for you. A lot of guys back on that defense. Talk about the guys that are coming back that that maybe will step up this season. Um, you know, the coaches have done a great job of building this program, so it's not going to be a drop off. And I'm really excited for these guys. You know, Hayden Kreisler, Connor Shadid, those guys are going to step up. Tanner Hope, and he's coming back. Nate Shepard, he's coming back. Wyatt Parker, you know, Sterling Swopes. We got a bunch of guys that um, are going to make plays for us. And I'm really excited to see um, what they have in store for us. Coach, obviously you've been knocking on the door of the playoffs the last couple of seasons right there. Kind of talk about what maybe that X factor is that you're hoping to see this season that will get you over that, that doorway. I think it's just, you know, I've kind of seen it already with their preparation this summer and the things that they've done, you know, through this summer to get themselves ready, you know, for this league and, and for this conference and, and trying to get to the playoffs. I mean, years past, you know, these guys did seven on seven. They'd come up and talk, and we'd have, you know, half the line there, and that was it. And now we're having to split up in two groups, which is goes to these guys' credit. I mean, they get kids there doing the work they need to do to help us take that next step. Um, I think it's just our kids and, and, you know, still being hungry and, and wanting to move forward and, and, and trying to get to that next, next step. And, uh, you know, it's hard in this conference, but it's just having that confidence in themselves um, believing in one another, believing in their teammates uh, to take that next step. And you know, it all comes down to the game. You know, who makes the least amount of mistakes in that game? You know, like Jake said, we can't give up the big play defensively. And, uh, you know, offensively, we can't turn the ball over. And uh, I think, you know, with the guys that we have in place right now, um, if they play to their potential and do the things that we ask them to do and don't try to do something just extra out of, out of this world, uh, I think we'll be just fine. But, you know, the, these guys are great. Our players are great. And they just need to feel, you know, believe that they can get up to the next level and, and hopefully win a conference championship and get themselves into the playoffs. Dwayne, you've seen the quarterbacks in this league. You, you know what they're like. You know they can do it with their legs. You know they can do it, you know, passing. You've, you've seen your own quarterback do it. Talk about preparing, you know, for a different kind of quarterback every week, some of them with the speed, others with the deep ball. And in this conference, it's tough. It's one thing after the other. You know, um, you might face a quarterback one, one week that has a rocket arm, and then next week, you know, rocket legs. You know, you never know. So, you know, you just got to come to work every week. You got to prepare yourself. But, you know, luckily for us, we have one of those quarterbacks here in this room with us, and we get to practice against him every day. So that's, that's a huge, huge asset to us. You know, we have to go against him every day. And because of that, I feel like it really prepares us to face those, um, those quarterbacks in this conference. All right, for both of you guys, being here where the national championship is going to be played here in a couple months, you know, how much inspiration does that give you going back saying we want to get there? Man, it sends shivers up my spine. Just, you know, being out there on that field, you know, I just I want to be back. You know, um, once you get a taste of success, you just want more and more. Um, it's addicting. And so being here today, just it's really infectious. You know, I just want to I want to be back with my teammates and I want to experience it with them. And I'm excited for this season. Jacob. Yeah, it was a long drive over here. So, you know, during that drive, it's kind of like during the season now, it's a, it's a long road to get here. And, uh, you know, once we get here, it's, it's, it's surreal and it feels great. And, uh, yeah, I obviously want to be back. Coach, talk a little bit about, you know, you, you're away from the players in the summer, but you talked about, you know, what you've heard and what you've seen. Talk about the summer progression of this team and, and what it means going into next season. I mean, it just kind of goes off of, you know, Every year since I've been there, it's grown even more every single year. And every single year, we've gotten one more win. You know, except for this year, we tied the record for, at eight and four. But you know, we got that extra win in a bowl game, which was the first postseason play win ever in, in school history. And uh, you know, that that's huge for these kids, and, and that builds confidence in these kids, knowing that they can play at the, you know, they can play at that level and play with you know high expectations, and and, and they play very well. And uh, you know, our, our kids are good, and uh, and 
just this accountability, this, this group right here this summer, it's, it's just kind of a different feel than it has been in years past. You know, we really have those guys that are hungry and are willing to do everything they can to, to go win a championship. And, uh, you know, like he said, it's – it just becomes addictive to win, and you know we're just getting used to kind of those winning ways. So hopefully, we continue to to grow and mature, and and get that one or two more wins each year. And uh, hopefully, this is the year these guys really break out and get the school record for wins and, and get ourselves to the to the playoffs. But you know, it's it's these kids. You know, our, our kids are tremendous. It's their work ethic that that it goes into. But uh, hopefully, all this work they put in the summer, you know, I hope it all pays out towards the end. And you know, if it does, I mean, it's great. And I know if it doesn't. As they still deserved it and, and, and worked their tails off for what they've earned. But you know, I really feel like you know this group of guys can really get some things done. Coach, you're in the unique position. Not a lot of teams have quarterbacks coming back in the league this year. Uh, what's it mean to have a quarterback you know that's been in the system coming back? He just he knows it. You know, offensively, he he, he knows our offense in and out. You know, he can get us in good positions if we need to be. You know, if we make a wrong call, he can he can fix that and correct it on the field. Um, he's on the same page with all his wide receivers. He's on the same page as his offensive linemen and his running backs. And uh, you know, he's going to just he's going to be able to recover just better this year. He's going to get the ball out of his hands a little bit quicker. He's going to know when to pull it down, tuck it, and run. You know, he's he's a tremendous athlete and he's he's a great quarterback. He's got a great mind. I mean, he's he's a very very smart football player and. Uh, you know, just to see him progress each year and get better, I mean, I think he's going to have a pretty good year this year. I think he's really going to stand out in this conference as a quarterback. All right, any further questions for Coach? All right, thank you very much. All right, thank you.